Welcome back to Hamilton Life. Well, she believes calligraphy is the most effective way to practice mindfulness and says calligraphy literally saved her life. Angie Bailey, tell us that story. Well, hello, good morning. Thank you for having me here. So yeah, first of all, um, I was a registered nurse. I practiced for 32 years, always working in the operating room in all of the Hamilton area hospitals. Stressful. So yeah, you want to know stress. You know, a nurse's life typically has a lot of stress. And um, eventually, after a couple decades, I kind of hit the wall because I was typical caregiver type who was so busy looking after everyone else that I wasn't looking after myself until my doctor ordered me to do something for myself. And he said, do you like art? And I said, I love art. And then I remembered that I had learned calligraphy as a 10 year old. So I started practicing again. And when I did, I realized, wow, I could sit here for hours doing this. I love this. It says self-love in calligraphy a Stress Awareness Month workbook, because it is Stress Awareness it Month. It is Stress Awareness Month. And, you know, as a nurse, I had stress, but we all have stress. Yeah. And yeah. studies show that in Canada, our stress has been rising. Every year, our stress level is rising. So it's inevitable that we all have stress, but it's how we learn to manage it. That's the important thing. That is the important thing. We yeah. can't change the world, but we can change how we react to it. Correct. How do we start? Where do we start? What Yay. do we do? Okay, so if we go to our next page here, okay. I'm going to explain to you that calligraphy is a combination of thin upstrokes and heavy downstrokes. Today we are practicing faux calligraphy. It can be done by literally anyone with just a piece of paper and any rigid tip utensil. So you could just use a pencil, but we've got some Fun pretty markers. colorful markers. And yes. you can do this if you, what if you have bad um, handwriting? Okay, so I have really bad handwriting, but it, the handwriting doesn't matter. You need to, so when we're writing something like a grocery list, for example, we're writing very quickly, just mm -hmm. the way I like to talk very quickly. <laughs> we're writing very quickly and mindlessly. But when we're practicing calligraphy, we are practicing basic strokes. So there are seven basic strokes. Right, show me some here. Sure. There are seven strokes that once combined form the majority of the lowercase alphabet. So I just want to show you quickly that modern calligraphy is a combination mm. of thin upstrokes and heavy downstrokes. Can I practice on this so, or yes. on a different page? If you see the first example shows you what we want to create. The next in red shows you where you're going to start and where you're going to end. And then if you see the gray line, that is the downstroke. So we have created a thin upstroke and so we want to make the downstroke heavy mm. by drawing it in with faux calligraphy and then we color it in. Hmm. Okay, so now you have to draw in your heavy downstroke. Okay. So like the dotted line. Oh. So you can trace the black line. There you go. Very good. See? So that is what we call the ascending loop. So if we go, yeah, very good. Well okay. done. So this is what we would call monoline because it's got the same weight and this is what we would call calligraphy because we have a thin upstroke and heavy downstroke. Okay. So that is our first basic stroke. Cool. So now we're going to go on to the next page. Ooh. The next page is a counterclockwise oval. Oval. An right. oval. So you're going to start okay. where the dot is and create the oval in a counterclockwise motion. And because we're creating the oval in a counterclockwise motion, this is our upstroke and this is the down portion of the stroke. So we're going to thicken up the down ah. portion of the stroke. There you go. Ah, okay, have you done this before? No, but I've got a very good teacher. I'll give Excellent. you a name. But look, I messed up over here. Can you cover those things? That's okay. You can actually, if you want, thicken up the upstroke and then thicken up Slightly the downstroke. Slightly thicken up the upstroke. Exactly. Okay. So that's what's great about faux calligraphy. It's very easily accessible and it's very forgiving. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this will help relieve stress because we're concentrating? Because it is a, a focused activity. We're doing stroke by stroke. So as we are doing our basic strokes, 
we are doing it slowly, mindfully, intentionally, and without judgment. I'm a little judgy. I'm a little judgy. <laughs> Don't be about judgy. That one. You're doing a great job. This is uh, almost like a more sophisticated coloring book. Exactly. Which was also meant to uh, be a stress reliever. It's very much the same okay. as that. Okay, what's next? So next, we're going to do our underturn. So our underturn will begin at the baseline. And then we can just trace the dark line down and up. And then we're going to draw in our heavy downstroke, close it off at the top, and color it in. So if you haven't noticed already, our three basic strokes that we have created, you can tell that they're starting to look like the word love. Am I right? Oh. Okay, yes. So we want to show ourselves some love by doing a, a creative self-care activity, right? Okay. So we all know that stress relief is very important, but how many of us are actually putting it into practice, right? So if we take a look at putting it all together, we are combining all the strokes. As I said, there are seven basic strokes, but for the word love, all we need to use are three. And incidentally, Val, mm -hmm. I want to surprise you because the three basic strokes used in the word love are the exact three basic strokes used in the word Val. Oh, that's Beautifully so cool. done. I'm going to, yay! Yay! All right, so you talk to me more about how we can get involved in this. I'm totally yeah. cheating now by simply That's tracing That's okay. This. Yeah, it, you're, you're meant to actually do it the first time. Trace it. I should have told you that. Trace it and then do one on your own. And we can take our work here and we can, you know, do the old-fashioned trace tracing and take a piece of chalk. Oops. Draw, um, scribble it over the back of what we want to do here. Place it on a little chalkboard and we can create something really pretty oh. like that. So I can write the word Val here on this little chalkboard. And then all you need, and it's very difficult to see. But normally it would normally show up a little better. Normally it would show up a little better. And then we just, and just simply trace that. <gasps> I love this. So for more information, where do we go? You can find me at on Instagram at Calming Calligraphy. And you can find me on CalmingCalligraphy.com. And I do uh, teach workshops online and in person. And I would like to share something too. Yes. I, didn't, I did that very quickly and I have not colored it in yet. But um, I do have a booklet that people can download. It's called Ink Your Inner Peace. And you can find it at CalmingCalligraphy.com slash peace. Love it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Val. I am feeling calmer. I would love to do this more often. Um, so thank you so much, Angie. In the next Hamilton Life, Empire Mortgage Group will be talking about debt consolidation. Oh, man, that feels stressful already. Oh, yeah. But maybe if they help us, that's good. Julie Marquise will be here to promote the punk rock flea market. And the Cable 14 crew went to Humble Bee in Hamilton to learn how they are supporting local bee colonies. And of course, try out some of their delicious local honey. Don't forget to follow the show on Instagram at Hamilton Life, and we'll see you next time. Oh, you're finishing it. I'm finishing it.